Don't call it a comeback, but we just got the first Nintendo Direct since 2019. A brand new Nintendo Direct has arrived, and without further ado, here's every announcement in order in well under 50 minutes. Updates include new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters, Animal Crossing, Splatoon, and Zelda news, plus some notable omissions. Let's do it. Xenoblade Chronicles Pyra and Mithra are the next Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters. They will be released in March 2021. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Switch in summer 2021, as does the time-bending space exploration game Outer Wilds. Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind are each being localized for the Nintendo Switch and released separately. Samurai Warriors 5 will also come to the Switch in summer of 2021. This spin-off of the Dynasty Warriors franchise is centered in the Sengoku period of Japan and will follow historical figures Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akeshi. The classic and much-loved Square RPG Legend of Mana is also coming to the Switch. We also saw a brand new trailer for Monster Hunter Rise. We also got a look at Mario Golf Super Rush, which will come to the Switch on June 25th, 2021. This new Mario Golf game features a speed golf multiplayer mode, motion controls, and a story mode. Tales from the Borderlands and No More Heroes 3 are also both coming to the Switch. And so is Capcom Arcade Stadium, a retro collection which was surprise released on the Nintendo eShop today. In March 2021, Stubbs the Zombie will shamble his way onto the Switch in his new game, Rebel Without a Pulse. In the new game, Neon White, players will be able to collect cards, then use them to assassinate demons in heaven. So that's neat. Or you could play as DC heroes like Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Batgirl when DC Superhero Girls Teen Power comes to the Switch on June 4th, 2021. And the ports roll on. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville is hitting the Switch, as is the Nintendo 3DS RPG known as Miitopia, which lets you use your Mii avatar to battle enemies, travel to far-off lands, build homes, and form relationships. Speaking of games like that, Animal Crossing's New Horizon will be getting Super Mario-themed items and costumes February 5th, 2021. These items include coins, thwomps, various bricks, mushrooms, and even warp pipes to let you travel between various points on your island. The latest in Square Enix's 2D HD strategy series, Project Triangle Strategy, is also coming to the Switch in 2022. Project Triangle Strategy is a working title and appears to be a successor, but not a sequel, to Octopath Traveler. Plus, there's a demo available today, so check it out. Star Wars Hunters, a new multiplayer game from Zynga set between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, comes to the Switch in 2021. And, developed by the studio that brought us Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, Knockout City is a dodgeball multiplayer game also coming to the Switch. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection was also announced and brings together Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. That collection will be released on June 10th, 2021. We also got an announcement trailer for World's End Club, which arrives on Switch in 2021. And Hyrule Warriors will be getting an expansion pass featuring two new waves of content. We got to see the final trailer for Bravely Default 2, which was a treat, and a new trailer for classic Square Enix RPG Saga Frontier Remastered. Speaking of remasters, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection got a release date trailer and will rise on the Switch on February 25th. Multiple Game of the Year winner Hades will also be getting a physical release on the Switch. Go Zagreus! While there was nothing new announced around Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, it was announced that we'll be getting more Breath of the Wild information later on in 2021. In the meantime, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD will be released on Nintendo Switch on July 16th, 2021. The title, which originally released on the Nintendo Wii in 2011, will now be playable either with motion controls or with a new button-only controller scheme. A set of custom Hyrule-themed Joy-Con controllers will also be released in tandem with the game. And finally, Splatoon 3 has been announced for 2022. 
The reveal trailer showed an inkling in a desert setting with a little buddy headed off to visit a new city. That's the TLDR version, but to check out all of these trailers and reveals in full for yourself, or to check out our video about what was conspicuously missing from this Nintendo Direct, head on over to IGN.